Okay, so log into your PayPal account and you want to scroll down a little bit and look to your left and you'll find a seller preferences. Click seller preferences on the left hand column after you've logged in. And then you'll come to this page with all of these different options. You want to find PayPal buttons and you're going to be managing your buttons. So click update on the right. And then you'll come to this page, which is your buttons, your button page. So on the right hand column, you could click create new button. And then you come to making your button. So you're making your button. This is the top of the page. Make sure the drop down is shopping cart option at the top there. Name it, price it, and then leave your customize button empty. Don't click any of those boxes. Leave it all unchecked. And then you can choose your shipping uh, right there, this, what type of shipping you want. And then scroll down and you'll come to the bottom of making your button. Um, I'll show you how to uh, change your taxes and shipping in the next window here. But I want you to click this option, the email. Use your primary email address. I find it's easier and less glitchy and then click create button. And you'll come to a page here where you can choose an email or a website drop down. So these are little tabs. You want to click email and cut and paste that tiny little short code there. So if you want to manipulate and change your shipping or tax rates, go back, log in and go back to that main page there and click seller preferences again and that will bring you to a page with more information here so you can then go down and click sales tax to change all your tax rates and you can on the left shipping calculations and change that